All right, so I just finished this painting. If you're interested in learning how to do this, watch this video. Super simple, I used uh, toilet paper rolls, some acrylic paint. Yeah, stay tuned, watch this video, find out how to make this, and I hope you have some fun trying it yourself. Thank you, and remember, if you like this, like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel, and we'll be doing more videos like this. I'm going to first paint a background. So I'm going to do a mix of two different colors of blue. Um, it's like an aqua, an aqua color. Uh-oh. Me... Okay, so I let it dry, but then I also painted the sides a little bit. It's still a little wet. We're just going to continue on because it's so nice out. It might rain later. Okay, so I have a sunflower that I want to put in the middle. I'm going to take this, the paper roll, I just folded it, and I'm going to try to make it take up the majority of the focus. Okay, so it's one layer. I'm going to fill these in. Now this should this should be completely dry actually. I should have let it dry but I just didn't want to wait. Yeah, I really should let this completely dry. Let me let this let dry a little bit better and then we'll continue. Okay, so now to make the smaller petals, I take a paper roll, I cut it in half, and then I folded it to make these pretty little flower petals. So now I have a lighter color that I'm gonna be using in this. And I'm just gonna put them around. Alright, I do that and then I paint them in carefully. You're not too worried about the middle part because we're going to fill that in with the center of the sunflower. Okay, let that dry a little bit. And then we'll move on to the now next we're step. We're going to do the center part of a sunflower. So I have toilet paper roll. I'm just sizing it before I put paint on it. And yeah, that looks like about the size I want. If I wanted it smaller, all I have to do is cut the toilet paper roll down the center and then close up the tube a little bit around itself to make a smaller. Uh, circle if you want, but I like this size so normally you can dip it in I didn't have a spot to dip the brown in I have only a small little palette over here So I'm just doing this right now, but yeah, you could just dip it in And then I line it up to about how I want Make sure you get it to all the way around now. That's where my lines gonna be. I'm using to make the seeds in the center of the sunflower, I'm going to take some Q-tips. If there's too much paint, you can check it out. I'll take some off. Just kind of try to stay in your center. Okay, so that's one color. Now I want to do a different color. I have another side that I can use, fresh and clean and ready to go. I'm going to add some white to my brown to make a little bit of a lighter brown. 
to add some depth to what I already have. And you know, sunflower seeds sometimes have some brown and white and black. So I'm taking these. Uh, I'm kind of nervous I'm going to ruin it now, but <laughs> maybe it's a little too light. Just do a little bit. And then I can always turn it back around and there's still brown paint on here. There we go. That looks cool. I'm just going to leave it like that. Now, I wanted to experiment and try something different. So I took a paper roll. I cut some um, what is going to be petals, right? And this, I think, is going to be too big, but so I take the petals and I try to open them up. And I think this is going to be too big of a flower, so what I want to do is, let's see, yeah, I think that's too big. I want the sunflower to be the center of attention, so I'm going to cut this down the middle. And then just, this is what I was saying about if you wanted a different center, just like a different diameter, you just do that and then you can make it smaller. So I want this flower like this. I could tape this, but I'm not. I'm, I'm just going to do that. Okay. So then, now let's get some... I want to do a purple flower. Let's see. I got some purple. This might be too bright, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. And I can do it again, but do it a different way to give it some more layering. Put some more paint on there. You can even do a different color of paint if you want it. You can do a little splash of pink maybe on it. Make them different. Just a little bit. See how that comes out. We'll turn it a different way. Okay, that's cool. I like that. That's cool. I'm not even going to paint that in. I'm just going to leave that like that. And um, then when I made this little flower, we can make something else with this. You can have your kids do this. My daughter made one. I'm going to post that as well so you can see. I'm just going to dip it in the same color that I had for the sunflower and just do another layer. Okay. Whatever you want to do. I kind of like the colors the way it is. I don't know if I really want to color it on there. You know what, I'll color it in and then I'll go back over with that stamper again. 
I really want to see those cool designs. I like that. I really like the way that purple flower came out. Okay, we'll do that. Let that dry a little bit. While that's drying, we can work on some other cool effects. So I wanted to use some ferns just to give it some texture and something interesting to look at. I'm going to take it and put some paint on it. I'm using the veiny side, so the underside of the fern, so um, it has something to actually leave. It has a little bit more of a, a design on it, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to stick it here. Lightly try to that. right next to it. Ferns are usually together, right? Oh, it's a little sloppy. That's okay. And then I also want to do the stem. Let's do a quick line. It's sunflowers just have a straight stem and that's pretty much it. I'll just do a line. Mommy. Yes, my love. Can I ride my bike? Can I ride my bike? Okay. Okay, so I'm, I'm making some more green. And now I'm gonna put a leaf. I'm going to see how this comes out to make a sunflower. So I'm just doing this so you can see what I'm doing, but normally I would do this on my cardboard here. I have cardboard. I'll just do one leaf. Oh, uh oh. There we go. We'll just do one. Came out kind of cool. So I'll just do simple. Oh, Bruno, my dog. He's that texture so I want to do that and then I'm going to flip it again and do the lighter color. Pretty. Thank you. You think it's pretty? Yeah. There we go. Okay. okay. I'm just adding a little more color to this. I just looked at it and I thought I want to add a little bit more. didn't feel even on the bottom. Let's do it like this. I really like the idea of the detail of it. It's a little better. There. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you can try to make your own. Have fun. See you later.